It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be finding the difference between two average temperatures using a thermometer to visualize our problem. Here's our question today. In Fairbanks, Alaska, the average temperature in February is negative 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average temperature in March is 11 degrees Fahrenheit. We are asked what is the difference in the average temperatures for February and March in Fairbanks, Alaska, and we're given four temperatures to pick from. So I would like you to pause the video here, go ahead and solve the problem, and pick your answer, and then come back to see the solution. Good luck. Welcome back. Let's review the information that was provided to us. We're told that in February, the average temperature is negative 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, and in March is 11 degrees Fahrenheit, and we wanna find the difference between these two average temperatures. Let's put all this information on a thermometer so that we can visualize. So the first temperature we're given in February was negative 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in March, it was a little warmer for, on average at 11 degrees Fahrenheit. And we wanna find the difference between these two values, which is also the distance between them on a number line. And a thermometer is a vertical number line. So if we visualize this, we're gonna go from negative 3.6 up to zero degrees Fahrenheit, and then up another 11 degrees to 11 degrees Fahrenheit. So here between zero and negative 3.6 is 3.6 degrees, and between zero and 11 is 11 degrees. So the difference between these two, we would add this together. So let's line up our decimal points. So we have 11 degrees and 3.6 degrees. So zero plus six is six. Bring our, down our decimal point. One plus three is four and then carry down the one, and that is 14.6 degrees. So the difference between these two temperatures is 14.6 degrees. So it increased 14.6 degrees on average from February to March, and that is answer choice D. So there you have how you find difference using a vertical number line or a thermometer. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.